Okay, I don't know how many of you will be able to join me this morning. It's kind of a different time than I usually am live, but... Hey, Sandy! Anyway, I have to make some things for a photo shoot, so I thought, well, hey, why not do it while I'm live? So... I'm going to make a Santa and an angel today. Hey, everybody coming in. Say hi. All right, let's get the tube dealt with. And that's my first order of business. So I just staple. This is what fits down over the top of the tree. Or you can use these to um, set your angels and Santas on a table or flat surface. So I just staple when I have staples. Hmm. I wonder what I did with those. I'm sure I have them in here. <laughs> Let's dig them out. because now I can't find my stapler. Let me get a different stapler. Who knows what I do with stuff. Good morning, Shirley. So anyway, that's all I do is just put a couple of staples in there. So that's ready. too, Kari. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my angel first. And um, these are kits, and they're available in my Etsy shop, by the way, if you're interested. These make really good gifts. Um, so all of the directions, step by step, are here for you. And you get everything you need except the ribbon. I do have a couple that come with ribbon, but um, these are just so easy to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to make 12 inch loops for this one. I'm going to move this out of my way for just a minute. I like the 12 inch loops personally. Okay, I've got them both in. Now I'm just going to take them and I'm going to double check my measurements. They're perfect. And this is just a gold ribbon that I got at Costco. I can put that back up there. Now, even though this is the same on both sides, I'm still giving it a twist because that allows you to fluff these out the best. It doesn't matter if you're making these angels or if you're making bows. Oh, good, Cindy. I'm telling you, these things are so fun to make. They don't take any time at all. 
And the nice thing about these is um, if those of you that don't know, Leah Cavender, the lady that created um, the Easy Bow Maker and the new Design Pro that I'm using today, um, Leah went to um, China and worked with the um, makers of these. These are porcelain. And they're heirloom quality. So these can be handed down as long as the ribbon lasts. Um, these can be handed down for many generations. They're just beautiful. The detail and the quality. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Judy. I just... I don't know. I'm crazy over them. And the directions on these are just really easy. I'm going to go ahead and put another set of loops. I'm going to do five loops. And then we're going to make our wings and our sleeves. All right. Give it a twist. You don't cut it off, but you do want to make sure that you bring these. I like to clip them so that I don't squish them a bunch. So what I usually do is get them together and I put a little clip in here to hold them. I'm going to do the same thing for this side. And I'm just going to clip the, this side together. I find that this keeps them out of my way and I can see better um, how I'm making my wings. All right, here at this point, you can um, make your decision at what size that you want your wings and whether you want two wings or three wings. That's up to you. I'm going to do a six, five, four here. So here's my six. I'm going to make sure that these are, are totally even here. We're going to bring it down to five. Now I'm going to do one at four inches, and then I'm going to do one at two or three inches. I'll decide when I get it up here. Probably three. Okay. Now these are her wings. These are going to come up here behind her head. Now I'm going to make the sleeves. Oh, Karen, how terrible. How on earth did you do that? My mom just fractured hers really bad. I'm going to make these at three inches, guys. And these are going to be the sleeves that we're going to glue the arms up in. So, just like that. Now we have our um, cut that off. Well, see, 
candy? Really, it is easy. Honest and truly, it is. Okay, now at this point, we are ready to pull this off. So I'm going to get a piece of wire. I'm just going to come in behind all these loops. my wires together, cross them between, pull it really, really tight, and lift the whole thing up. I'm trying to keep that as tight as I can, and then I'm going to pull my wire to the back side and continue to tighten it up before I twist it. This is 26 gauge wire that I'm using. I have found that that is just about the easiest wire to use. Okay, now I am ready to bend all of this just like that because we're going to place our angel in here. Hold her so you can see what the wings kind of look like. So these are the arms and they're going to come down this way. Yep, I like that. Okay, so from here you can add wire in these holes if you want to. I never do. I just put a little bit of glue I'm going to add a dollop of glue on there the first one on the edge and then I'm just going to slide it in and butt it up against the one that's in there then I don't have to use my chin You see what I'm doing here? Just filling it with glue. My mom had to wait forever to see the ortho also. I think that cost her a lot of mobility, actually. Okay, now what I'm doing here is I want this one to go to the front. I am going to pull my two bottom ones to make sure that they meet right here. And the rest, just pulling around. I like to pay attention to the detail of in the very back of her. I like my two very first loops I put in on each side to meet up together right in the center of her back. That's just a little detail I pay attention to. If you guys don't care, then don't worry about it. I'm just going to press that there for a little while. But already you get the idea of what this beauty is going to look like. Okay, and now I'm really going to pay attention to her wings. I'll get those up there. And if you have to put a little dot of glue on your wings to get them to stay up, you do that. It's not going to make any difference. All right, I think she's good and glued. Now I'm turning her over. And I'm going to take my cone.
and there's holes in your cone that you can pull your wire through so that you can keep your cone on there. And I'm just going to give it a couple of twists around. And then from there, I'm going to put a couple of dabs of glue on my cone so that I can get my This is how I do it. It's not in the book, but this is what works for me. There. I just like to put a little, few little dabs of glue in there. Oh, I can turn this fan on. Starting to break a sweat. <laughs> I'm going to make you think this is really hard work, and it isn't. Truly, it isn't. So I have to work tonight. And here in Iowa, in the fall, it starts off really, really cool in the fall. And then it gets really, really cool at night. And that always just drives me nuts. How do you dress? Do you dress for the cool night or do you dress for the warm days? Hi, Rosario. Okay. Now I'm going to use this little water bottle to set my cone on so that I can start really working on her. So we have a couple of things that we're going to have to hide, but first I'm going to put her arms in. And remember that with the arms, um, they go in, and I'm going to show you a little trick here. If you're using kind of a sheer um, ribbon, I'm going to glue just a little bit of um, ribbon to her that matches. So, that way then you won't be able to see her skin through here. I just start on one end and I roll it up. So just like that, she has a little cuff on. And so when I go to put it in here, it's not going to stick out so much like a sore thumb. You'll see it, but you won't see it as, as well. Oh, that's funny. I wish we could have 70s all year round. Really do. Okay, I'm going to make a circle in here, and then I'm going to very carefully come up in here and position. You want to make sure that the thumbs are up, like you're going to have a handshake. You come over here and do the same thing that I did. I've just cut me a piece. I'm going to fold it over and glue it to itself. Put that up there so you can see what I'm doing. Just running a bead of glue. It's not a big one. Isn't it nice to do no sew stuff? That's the one thing I love about these. They're no sew.
some glue on her arm and just lay it in here. My fan's pretty strong today. And I'm just going to wrap this right around her arm, just like so. And now we're ready. Put some glue on here. And put our other sleeve on. Okay, you might wonder why her hands are dangling down like this. It's because she's going to hold this harp. So I like to put a little bit of glue on my arms and glue the harp to her hand. And then she will also have a little bow on there. Okay. Next, I need to make her... Um, little wrap. So um, at this point, if you wanted to do like cream and gold looks really, really good. I'm going to double this. But if you um, wanted to add a contrast color to her, like a, a cream or maybe you wanted gold and navy, now would be the time to make her wrap out of that second um, Color. I'm just going to cut this really, really long and trim it. So I'm doubling it and maybe about 25 inches. I think that should be pretty good. Maybe I want it bigger. This is just what I do, guys. You can follow the directions. that other edge and I'm just going to run a small bead of glue around this edge. Not a lot, just a little so that it doesn't separate on me. This is about where I'm going to turn this around and We're going to fit this around her back, and we're going to frame her face with this. This is my favorite thing to do on these. So I'm going to take this off. I'm going to lay it flat. And I'm going to run. Well, first I'm going to turn it around and make sure that I've got those pretty even, and I do. So I'm just going to run a bead of glue. And then I'm going to position my just like that. I'm going to put it back on here. And we're going to adjust our wrap. So if you're using a sheer, this is a glittered sheer that I'm using, but if you end up using a glittered sheer, I would suggest that you double it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I like the way that is around her. So now I'm just going to take all of my loops and we're just going to come in here. Now you'll get a piece of the same thing that I'm using, only I do these so many of these that I bought a roll of it, and I believe I got it from Factory Direct Crafts. So I'm just going to take my string and lay her down, and I'm going to tie a knot in here. 
This is what gives her the waist. So at this point, I'm just going to make a knot. Okay, there's her waist. Thanks for the hearts, you guys. All right, now I'm going to knot in my, my harp. And again, I'm just going to tie this in a knot right here. And then at this point, I like to make a pretty bow. Yeah, yeah, right, Sandy? Sandy and I have been uh, um, kind of cheering each other on on our diets. <laughs> so we know only too well how hard it is to lose weight. All right, there's my little bow. So now I'm going to position my my hands on here. So I'm just going to put a dab of glue on there. And then I'm going to place it and hold it. Hey, Robin. Robin's another one that's been doing keto. We have a whole sisterhood here. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing on my other side. If you don't care if she's holding on to the harp, you don't have to do this part. I just think it kind of adds to it, and it makes the sleeves look more like sleeves. Um, which wire are you talking about? Are you talking about the wire that I used to, um, tie it off with? I just buy these at Hobby Lobby. They're about 18 and a half inches. That's plenty of wire. Okay, so now we need to do all the fluffing things. So we're going to be sticking our hands inside all of our loops down here and making sure that we're all fluffed out. Turn her around. See, I like mine to be as pretty on the back side as it is on the front side. I just love this piece of string. I don't know. I probably cut it about 14 inches. It's not wire. It's just regular little um, gold and white. Um, what's this called? It doesn't really have a name. I'll give you the item number from... Factory Direct Craft, I think this was like $6 for 100, for 50 yards. Um, item number T or NMT03100. All right. That's fluffed really, really pretty. our leaves. Alright, now let's address her her wings. So you can do this a couple of different ways. You can just fold them up and put some glue in there, which is kind of my favorite way to do it. 
So you just fold everything up just like that and we'll glue them on each other. These will stay in place a lot easier than if you don't. Isn't she beautiful? All right, so let me just go ahead and get started on that. So I just put a dab of glue and folded them up. I'm going to hold on to them. Hi, Nancy Lee. That's pretty good over there. Let's come around and do the other one. The glue ends up being all in the same spot for all the loops. with this one wanting to fall down so put another little spot of glue till it's just laying the way you want them to Deborah it is this um what I do with them I just have them here it's this wire that I buy at Hobby Lobby and it's 18 and a half inches actually it's 18 inches that's all the longer that wire was. And it's 20 gauge, 26 gauge, sorry. Okay, this little beauty is done, except she needs her halo. Here's the wonderful thing Leah did for us. She has kind of a little bun up here, so you can't miss with this. This is just a pipe cleaner that's spiraled up when in your kit when you get it and if you take it and you know like when we extend a pipe cleaner we just made a circle and wrapped each end around so right there where that heavy part is where you wrapped it around you're going to put a little bit of glue around her bun like so on the back side and you're going to just put it up so we'll hold it there a minute yep there's full directions I've got a tutorial on this that's on uh, YouTube on how to make these and then these directions come with pictures so there's no way you can mess these up and they go from step one all the way to step 31. And I know that sounds like there's a lot of steps. It's just when you change what you're doing, I think it's easier to just follow along. I have a um, tutorial where you're watching over my head on this one. I have one for Santa and I have one for these angels. Okay, there's one more look at her again. And now I'm going to switch to the Santa. Now the Santa is kind of fun because you can do all kinds of things to um, bump him up a little. So I'm going to put her off over here. Here's a couple of angels that I did the other day. Here's one that I did in the animal prints. She's really pretty. And then here's one that I did with the new trend this year, the navy blues. She's really pretty too. All right. Yeah, the gold is more of a traditional. That's why I am making these for my photo shoots. 
so um, I needed to get more traditional colors in here, so that's why I'm busy making more. I love the Santas. I'm not going to be using this on my Santa. I'm going to be using something else. I'm going to put that up there. So here's Santa. I love his face. Let's see if I can get it in the light better. He comes with everything you need also. And um, there's his hat. So I'm going to be doctoring my Santa. I like to um, add fur down the front of his cape. So, um, I'm going to be using this um, velvet with a gold trim. Thanks for the heart. So, yeah, you guys can get creative and use whatever you want to. All right, I'm going to do this one at 12 inches also. I've done this with the Dupiani that's kind of wrinkly. That makes a really pretty Santa. If you've followed me for a while, um, I've made these for a couple of years now. Yeah, I'm going to do 12 inches for him also. So if you have children, um, these are kind of fun. Children or grandchildren. And it's going to be the same concept for him, only we are not going to um, make wings for him. We'll make sleeves. And he comes with a full set of directions also, guys. do five on each side for him. Okay. Pull these down clip them, whatever, first. This is a heavy velvet, and by the way, I bought this at the at-home store, and it was only $5.99 for 10 yards. So just an FYI on that. Okay, now I'm going to make his sleeves, which is just one loop. And I am um, just making a decision here. I don't want his sleeves to be too long, and I don't want them to be too short. So pull this up a little bit. Turn it. Can you hear my husband talking on the phone? He and every friend he has, I think, are deaf. <laughs> and none of them, will, they all have hearing aids, but they don't wear them. Thinkers. I'm going to make this. 
And I'm going to go for five inches, I think. Five and a half. Five and a half inches for his sleeve. It's been a while. I can't remember what I usually make my sleeves at. Terrible as it is. All right, here's his directions. I think that he is just adorable. Okay, so I believe I'm going to try and do this like she does this. I need another set. We're going to glue. Okay, this is going to take. Almost all 10 yards. For him at 12. So that's good to know. One Santa takes. 10 yards if you do your loops for the body at 10 inches. All right. I guess I never measured that before. Get my wire. going to come in underneath of my loops. And once again, we're going to cross them and pull them really, really tight, which is sometimes kind of hard to do. And I'm going to do this one different because I'm going to put this in underneath of my loops in between my bells and bring it up because this is a mighty thick ribbon so now I can cross it and get it much tighter before I pull it out. Can't hear who talking, Peggy. Okay, once again, I'm going to get this as tight as I can get it. Robin, it's available in my Etsy shop. And if you would be a dear, if you stumble upon it, it's in the um, supplies. If you could give us a direct link and post that for me, I would sure love you for it. I'm going to take one more wire so that I have enough to work with. Um, to do my cone. So I'm just going to take a second wire and come down through here and just give it a twist with the, the old wire, the first wire. Just like that. Alright, let's make our cone, which I normally do right up front. Give it a little staple. I don't 
think I can get that in there. That's why I like to use that other one, but it's okay to staple just the bottom. So I don't need this anymore. Now I told you we do something different. We don't make wings with this one. We are making um, sleeves. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these fluffed. And once again, my two first loops that I used, I want to make sure that when I put them on, that my center seams are going to match perfectly right down the back. Robin. So one of those is the angel and one of those is the Santa kit. Okay, and remember I told you we had to do something special to make our sleeves. I'm going to show you how I do that. This body's pretty much fluffed out here. When you put the five loops in, it really makes them full. So for the sleeves, I'm going to take everything out of here. And we are going to glue our sleeves together. on the edges. That's all I'm doing is just running a bead of glue along the edge for my sleeves. Just like that. So it makes us a little hole on both sides. For a little while when you take him off, it's going to look like a real hot mess to you, but watch how pretty it comes together. This is the only time I am ever going to tell you to flatten out your loops. Oh, look at me all ambidextrous here. This will probably be a hot mess. Because I can't do squat with my left hand normally. I'm terrible at that. Okay. We're almost ready to put our head on. Almost. Remember I said on the back, you want to make sure that you get those lined up with each other. And then just press. You want to make sure that his arms are coming down. That his, that last piece is just going right straight down the front. Just like that. 
Now we're going to take our banana head and we're just going to fill it full of glue like we did the angels. It takes a goodly amount too. Make sure that your head is facing where the sleeves are going. And just fit that on up in there. Sometimes you have to press really, really hard. Don't like a mess back here. You're not going to see right up where that is because we're going to put a sash on him also. Oh, she even posted you the link for my tutorial on YouTube. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Robin, you're the best. I have good followers, I have good friends. What more does a girl need, huh? All right. Now the next step is getting our cone in. And the same thing, we're just going to run our wires up inside of the cone. Now you can do like I do and wrap your wires around. I like to twist them close to a hole so that I can poke it all back up in there. Or you can just go to glue one. I like to run glue on mine. And then just press them in. with Santa's arms and we'll do a sash. So on the arms, I like to take a little piece of string or wire, I'm sorry. I like to take a piece of wire and Hold it up on itself. And give it just a twist. So this is what my wire looks like. Do you see that? It just looks like a figure eight. So I like to load up the inside of the arm with some glue and put in one side of my wire. And I'll tell you why I do that, because this wire doubled over a couple of times and then made into the figure eight gives you a little bit more surface um, for your glue to stick to. So I just make sure that both sides have pretty good sized loops. OK, 
Okay, we'll just let those sit and dry. And once again, we're going to make sure our thumbs are up. Now we're going to make our sash. has a channel where his beard is. There's a channel there. I always like to tuck it in there. Oh, before I do that, I have to glue my, I have to glue my surprise on. What Santa does not have white fur? So I'm going to take, I bought this at um, Hobby Lobby. It's not wired. It's just white velvet. And it's actually white crushed velvet. So I'm going to glue this onto the edge. Of. My red velvet. So the ribbon that I'm using today for my Santa came from the at-home store. This is just a wired velvet that I'm using today. I did not do a bang up job getting that lined up. Here we go. I got my ceiling fan on in here today and let me tell you it dries my glue faster than it cools me off let me tell you Whenever I put any trim on, I like to hem my um, ribbon for the sash just by folding it up and gluing it on the bad side. what I did with my gold scepter. <laughs> Get my bottle of water out here. find that you have wrinkled your ribbon or at the bottom of your ribbon, uh, spool of ribbon, um, it's wrinkled from them crimping it when they rolled it before you ever owned it. You can take your curling iron and on low you can um, I'm just deciding how I want this to go. I 
was a quick decision. And so here's a thing. I don't know if that is going to dry clearer or if I'm going to have to put another thing of ribbon on, but I can see the red under there. So if that happens, you just put another layer of the white on there and just run it right down the center and place it. Then you absolutely will not see the red. So I originally, when I started putting trim on mine, I bought me um, a roll of, uh, oh, you dummy, of the faux fur, and um, that worked out really well. It makes a mess when you cut it, but it's well worth it. No, these are not Gorilla Glue, glue Sticks, actually. These are some, um, what are they? Ad Tech, maybe, and I hate them. Just not going to lie, I don't like them. So you have choices here. You can run this up over his hat. Like so. And then come back with another piece to deal with this here. Or you can just leave the hat and glue to, just like we did the angel, you can just glue him like that, which is my preference today. Okay, so the same thing, we don't have, we haven't dealt with our arms yet, but we are definitely going to create a waist and poof up our sleeves. I'm going to be using just a Hobby Lobby um, teeny tiny little ribbon. Use what you have.
Okay, let's deal with our arms. Remember, we want to make sure that our thumbs are up. So I'm going to put some blue all around his arm. Put some on that wire that we created outside of his hand. I'm going to make sure that his thumbs are up. I'm going to pinch this around. So we're going to give him kind of a little cuff. extra detail that I just like to do on my Santas. blue strings on me now. Hi Eleanor, how are you? All this glue off of my hands so I can touch it again. Now when you get him on your tree, he's going to fluff out a bunch, guys. I promise he gets really full on the top. So when you go to um, glamp him up, um, you can also order some, um, oh, what's it called? They have these um, gold rope with um, a pearl on it that I have tied mine off with before instead of um, this. But I'm going to do a bunch of little curls with this. I'm going to roll it up.
nose, get the other sleeve taken care of. Thumbs up. Create you a good size hole here. How are you? It's been forever, my friend. Okay, I think that's done. I'm going to cut a little piece of this to put around there. Hi, Donna. So I'm just going to wrap it really tight with this. I want to make sure that my seam ends up underneath of my Kleenex stand. I want to pull it really, really tight. you, Barb. I can't wait to the day I retire. I have four years left. And it just goes so slow. Watch you guys. My Santa is done. Okay. Now, there are things that you can do to your Santa. You can get those, um, oh, whatchamacallit, um, The, uh, satin see-through bags you can put some gifts in you can go to Hobby Lobby and buy these dowels and then buy you a bead to put on the end you can paint them gold and so then you can put them in his hand for a scepter I've done that uh, mostly I like the bags if this is your Santa, you can, um, usually Santas are, if you have children, you can, um, put a pick in here. I think I got one right handy. Somewhere. I wanted 
here. Just have it in my hand. So you can do all kinds of things with him. One thing I really think is very pretty is um, putting a dove on one of the hands if you're, but you can also do something that make it makes it look like a sucker. You can do all kinds of things. Hi, Judy. Sky's the limit. Make him yours. This is my version. But I just paint this with a little um, gold metallic paint and put a bead on the top and make a scepter. But this is the front. This is the back. And once you get it on your tree, you're going to continue to fluff. And I'll tell you what I like to use to put him on my tree is... Um, I buy these at Hobby Lobby. They remind you of a chenille stem. But a lot of people buy these to hide the center of their tree. So I just hook these into my um, plastic underneath and then tie it onto my tree with those. <laughs> yes, you can do a naughty list. Yep, you can do all those things. So here are the two that I did today. There's my Santa and there's my angel. And they're both made with the Easy Bow Maker. You can make these on either one, the new one that's coming out or the old one. Let's see, I need to trim here. guys thanks for joining me and keeping me company while I get my subjects made today for my photo shoot I shall see you all when I see you next time have a great uh, rest of your day guys bye